Good day ladies and gentlemen, Commodity TV 2016 here at PDAC in Toronto and my first interview partner here on a lovely Sunday morning is uh, Eric Desaulnier, he's the founder and CEO of Nouveaumont and this is a graphite company, long time that we have, that we had one and so we are very curious what uh, those guys are doing. Eric, good morning, thanks good for morning. taking the time. Yeah, thanks for having me. <laughs> Nouveaumont, to give us a short overview, what is the company doing, where are you located? Yeah, so Nouveaumont stands for New World. In mm -hmm. French, so what we did, I'm a, I have a master in geophysics, so we explored 10,000 square kilometers all around the only producing mine of graphite in North America mm -hmm. to discover the next world class deposit. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've done. Wow. We discovered a huge deposit last summer. Yeah, and this is where in Montreal, is it? Yeah, yeah. an hour and a half. The main deposit that we discovered, it's an hour yeah. and a half north of Montreal. Perfect okay. location. Wow, super, perfect. So we are a sensational jurisdiction, of course. And as you are yeah, half an hour from Montreal, I presume the infrastructure is quite well? Yeah, we are actually <laughs> four kilometers from an old factory. Yeah. You can look at it right there. We see it on the map, actually. Mm -hmm. The deposit is right four kilometers straight south of an old facility that was used there. Mm -hmm. Electricity is right on the property. Wow. Actually, this summer, we were drilling the property, yeah. and our drillers ordered a pizza, and they delivered on the, on no, the really? side. Yeah, but they didn't deliver with a helicopter. <laughs> yeah, no, no, by truck. <laughs> by truck, exactly. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic infrastructure. Yeah. So all yeah. is there. And yeah. also, I presume that you are Montreal, you have enough uh, uh, workspace, uh, meaning uh, labor force, yeah, etc. Right Everything is down. there. Right Great. there, because this factory shut down a few years ago. Yeah, yeah. So it's three to four thousand people, a very yeah. skilled people, an hour and a half of Montreal. So easy to feed uh, new labor if mm -hmm. needed. Fantastic. So you are an uh, exploration development company. You want to go into production, as you said, by 2018-19. Exactly. We come to this in a second. But uh, first of all, let me dive into graphite because graphite is something I would say our viewers are only partially used to it can you give yeah. us a short introduction to graphite and for what is it used I presume for lithium battery technology it's important it's exactly one of the, right. of the base the, resources right, right. It's yeah. the, the, the biggest growth market within graphite is mm -hmm. in lithium-ion batteries mm -hmm. you know what is bought at the moment it's spherical graphite going into the anode and we believe we have net advantage for that specific market. That specific market in the last two years grew over 25% each year. Mm -hmm. So all the uh, Tesla of this world, yeah. BYD, uh, even Foxconn with Apple, you know, uh, mm -hmm. all the, even GM is making the bolt, uh, the new car that will be out yeah. this year. Yeah. So lithium ion batteries, every week you see new announcement of giga factories yeah. to make lithium ion batteries. Yeah. And they do these factories to reduce the cost. Mm -hmm. because you know that's the chemistry that is perfect now to 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 be in batteries mm -hmm. so it's a great market opportunity at the moment there's okay. a lot of other market as mm -hmm. well in graphite yeah refractories used to be the biggest market it used to be 55 percent of graphite market mm -hmm. and now it's 35 and graphite was nine uh, sorry lithium-ion battery was nine and it's now 25. Wow. So, uh, so I mean it's a big market yeah. compared to lithium because yeah. it's 1.1 million ton a year that is sold of graphite. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, and in North America we produce 20,000 ton. There's only one producing mine mm -hmm. that is depleted in roughly five years from now. And we are consuming already 80,000 ton. And Tesla motor itself, mm -hmm. only Tesla motor, will need over 100,000 ton of graphite. Wow for the Giga factory that is being yeah. built at the moment, only Tesla. Yeah, so that would be like 10% of the world market, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because one, one, one is the world market, yeah, you said, exactly, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly, 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 wow, yeah. that's a lot. So, I mean, graphite, we were just talking about it before this interview. Graphite is graphite, but you need a specific, I would call it specific graphite for those batteries. Yeah. So what is important? Because we see here those uh, lovely grades like 3.7 uh, per, uh, um, yeah. uh, percent, yeah, not grams, that's important, <laughs> four and a half uh, percent. And so what, what does it mean? Is this a good grade? Is this a sensible yeah. grade? Is it even important? Or is the purity more important of it? You're right. So the resource we have, let's talk about the resource. We have announced two weeks ago, it's a brand new discovery made last summer. Mm -hmm. uh, we drilled 11,000 meters. We announced the resource uh, late February, so a few, few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And it's 84 million ton at roughly 4% uh, graphite in the rock. Yeah. But the most important thing, like you said, is how pure is your graphite by simple mechanical mean, metallurgical yeah. mean. Yeah. And our graphite within North America, 
we have the largest purity after flotation. Mm -hmm. did, and you have tested this already? Yeah, we've done yeah. 14 different tests mm -hmm. and we've done a bulk sample uh, during uh, just before Christmas, 12 mm -hmm. tons. Mm -hmm. And our average, all tests, it's 97.4 to 98.5 in average, you know, all flake size included. Mm -hmm. And the flake size, so that means a premium price. Mm -hmm. And that means as well that it's cheaper for us to go to 99.9 .9 to go in lithium ion batteries. That's mm -hmm. a very important uh, parameter to make yeah. an economical uh, operation. Okay. And second thing is the flake size distribution. Large and jumbo flakes is between 50 and 60 percent of our production at the moment. Mm -hmm. So that's that's very very uh, mm -hmm. important as so well. Your future production, of course. Then. A future, so, yeah. Sorry, future yeah. production. <laughs> so in all our tests, it's between 50 yeah. and 60 percent of large and jumbo flakes, mm -hmm. which make it another premium price. So it's, yeah. a, it's a great resource. So yeah. it's not only about the grade in the rock; it's about how easily you can make a finished product of yeah. high quality. Yeah, which will use by industry standards then. Exactly. Yeah, so okay. If you would compare, let's say, your size of the flakes, the jumbo flakes, to your, yeah, let's call it competitors or to the peer group, and your yeah. purity to the peer group, wh where would we end up? But well, we've made a comparison because our market is really North America, because mm -hmm. Tesla openly said, and other lithium ion manufacturers as well, that mm -hmm. they want to source locally in, mm -hmm. the, in the lowest environmental footprint companies and mm -hmm. lowest cost possible. Yeah. So we compare to North American deposit and ask. Our, the peer average is roughly 93%, mm -hmm. and the median is 93.5 for yeah. purity. Mm -hmm. We are at 97.4, 98.5. So compare Super. our peers, we are very uh, higher. And the flake size uh, peer average is roughly 25 to 30%, mm -hmm. and we are 60 to uh, wow. 50 to 60%. Yeah. So we believe that our resource, by the way, that is all in the zero to 100 meter only. So it's open pitable? Yeah, it's open pit and the strip ratio will be fantastic. Wow. We are doing yeah. at the moment, you know, the which pit will do first because obviously mm -hmm. we have too much resource for, uh, you know, yeah. we have enough to do resource everything, yeah. Yeah, for 60 <laughs> years yeah. now. Yeah. So we need to choose which one will start mine, mining first and that's yeah. what we're doing now. Great. Okay. Do you have already a little bit of an idea what it might cost to go into production? I know you have not yet done all the, yeah. the feasibility studies and that stuff, but do we talk about the 50 millions, the 500 millions, the billion? Yeah, just so to give an idea to our viewers. Just looking at our peers who did some yeah. feasibility study, uh, us, we are, be, you know, what I expect, you know, I will give you a rough estimate. It's mm -hmm. between 60 and 100 million to go okay. into production. Yeah. We have an existing facility nearby. We are making the trade offs today at the moment to see how much we will save. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so between 60 and 100 million, and we need, we are raising this uh, spring, at the end of the spring, mm -hmm. roughly 5 million US mm -hmm. to be able to deliver a bankable feasibility study and I'll make all the environmental study and apply for yeah. a mining permit. Okay, super. Do, you started to talk about money already, so I, I can talk now also about money, that's important. Yeah. You raise 5 million, what is by now in the bank? In the bank we have roughly 800,000 at the moment, okay. so that's yeah. enough to reach the milestones, which is yeah. delivering a preliminary mm -hmm. economic assessment yeah. in June. Mm -hmm. So we are not full rich, yeah. but we, we are very uh, cash sensitive, and yeah. we, we have enough money to deliver on budget our preliminary okay. economic assessment, and we want to raise the money after that, uh, mm -hmm. that milestone. You know? Okay, great. Um, who are your largest shareholders? What is What has management skim in the game? Yeah, so I mean, uh, management, we have roughly, personally, I have about 6 to 7% fully diluted with my wife. I'm including mm -hmm. my wife, you know, it's important to include his you wife. You have to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't separate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, and all my insiders, yeah. I would say, and close partners, board yeah. members, we have about 30%. Uh, another 35%, it's uh, strong shareholding from Quebec institution. Maybe you know Kaiser Depot, second yes. largest pension fund in yeah. Canada. They have 9.9. .9. Wow. CDEX is a Quebec government mm -hmm. with a, a union. They yeah. made a fund. They have about 7-8%. Mm -hmm. uh, FTQ about 6-7%. Big union in, uh, in, uh, in Quebec province. Yeah. And Desjardins, the big bank. All together, Super. we have about 30-35% holding. So, yeah. so that means you have healthy shareholder uh, healthy shareholders in yeah. the company, you have a lot of skim yeah. in the game, exactly. that's important, so you act in the interest of the shareholders, of course. You're right, yeah. exactly. Fantastic. What is the major milestone you want to achieve 2016? 2016 is deliver our preliminary economic assessment mm -hmm. and uh, potentially start doing uh, pilot plans for coal graphite 
in North America, which would be, would be a breakthrough. So we are we are actually actively working toward that achievement mm -hmm. and starting our in our uh, feasibility study. Yeah and make start the impact benefit assessment work to apply for our mining permit middle 2017. Fantastic, great. Well, Eric, then all the best for that and we look forward yeah, Thanks to... Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. No, very, very interesting. Nice. I like the project. It's uh, yeah, pretty good and it's something what the future really exactly. uh, needs and there's the demand yeah. definitely. If, if you believe in electric cars and power yes, I do. storage, <laughs> yeah. You need to own graphite yeah. and graphite in North America, we have the best option over there. Absolutely. Sure. And you are in the market where it's needed and exactly. used. You're right. So that helps a lot. Great. Eric, thank you very much for that. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it was Eric Desonier, the CEO and uh, founder of Nouveau Monde. Uh, yeah, you heard it. Graphite company, very interesting. It is uh, still in the exploration development stage, of course. Um, to go into production, it will need roughly 60 to 100 million dollars, but I think this is absolutely makeable in those markets. And especially when we talk about graphite and the product uh, Eric's company can sell in the future, this is needed of the Teslas in the world, of the Fords and the General motors with the e-mobility in the world we have so the demand is there it's growing and uh, I found it very interesting what he said even Tesla super factory or Giga factory whatever they call it um, is 120,000 tons per annum on a 1.1 million ton world market so expect more demand and uh, I'm pretty sure they will do a great job so we keep you posted thanks and bye bye from Toronto